this is a pretty big hole. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Well, if you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney plush collector from the UK. And I have just got back from Walt Disney World. I was in Walt Disney World for seven days and I wanted to share my haul with you. So this is the first time I'm filming a sit down video in four weeks because of being away and getting back on a Sunday, which is my filming day. And I just didn't feel like filming. At the time of filming, I actually have COVID, which is why I sound like I've got a cold. I'm doing okay, but you can still kind of hear it in my voice. So this is just everything that I bought from Walt Disney World in those seven days. I do also have a Disney Cruise Line haul that I'm going to share with you that I was going to keep a secret, but when I did the vlog trailer, which if you didn't see that, I'll leave a card up above, I was just too excited to share with you that I've been on another Disney cruise. So that haul is going to be completely separate, and I'm also going to do a haul in amongst the vlogs, which is what I got from like the character warehouse, what I got from Hot Topic, Box Lunch, things like that. So there are going to be three hauls. So just a disclaimer before I start. First of all, I'm not going to share prices because I took the tags off a lot of things. I bought some things purely to wear them on the holiday. So I don't have the prices anymore. I didn't want to carry around a bunch of receipts. And the things that are still tagged won't include the tax. So I'm just not going to share all that. I don't think it's necessary to share how much I spent because I spent an awful lot and that leads into point number two that I had been saving for this holiday since 2019. We booked it in July 2019 to go November 2020 and I have been saving ever since. So yes, I spent an awful lot of money but I saved that money and I didn't put myself in debt for this holiday or anything. So. I did buy a lot, but who knows when I will ever get back to Walt Disney World or America in general. So I was going to buy all the things. As it transpired, they didn't have everything that I wanted, so I could have probably spent more. But I am happy with everything that I got, so let's show you. I'm going to start with this little 50th anniversary bag. They did have one in every single size, but I find that these rip. If they're anything like the Cruise Line ones and the Disneyland Paris ones, they do rip if you like overuse them, so I don't buy a lot of them. So this is the only one I got. And then in this little baggie is all of the pins. So I'm going to start with the pins because they're the smallest. I did trade a lot of pins as well, but they've already been put away, so I'm not going to show you the pins that I traded. And let's face it, I didn't buy those. So. so the pins I bought in no particular order were this Lizzie McGuire pin. I have wanted this for the longest time because Lizzie McGuire was like my favourite TV show growing up. My phone case is even Lizzie McGuire so I'm really really happy to have this pin. It's just very small, very thin and she was a silver. And then I got this Skyliner pin. I actually really loved it. I'm scared of heights so I don't usually like these kind of things but it got you to Hollywood Studios and Epcot so much quicker than the buzzes and it was just a really nice experience. So it says there's magic in the air, Disney Skyliner and it's a silver again. I actually got this from our resort, the Art of Animation Resort. I was looking everywhere for an Art of Animation Resort pin and unfortunately they didn't have one but I'm really glad I got a Skyliner pin. I do regret not getting one of those toy Skyliner buckets, but I could only find like a Chippendale one and a Frozen one, and I didn't really want either of those, but they would be perfect for my new emos. So if I find one on eBay that's a different character, then I am 100% getting it. And then the next pin, I didn't go on this ride, because you know I hate this ride, but I collect attractions pins. So this is a Hollywood Hotel Terror of Terror pin that's in black and white and it's Mickey and Minnie in like the 1920s checking into the hotel. And that is my last silver I think because I'm trying to order these in what price they were. And then I got this Winnie the Pooh one. I'm not sure whether this will go to work with me or not. I don't have many Winnie the Pooh pins but he's dangling from a blue Mickey balloon and he was a yellow. And then I got a Toy Story Land pin. Toy Story Land opened after my last trip so I've never been able to go and experience it and I really loved it. 
So I got this Toy Story Land pin, and again that was a yellow. And then I got this gorgeous Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway pin that the car actually moves, and I just love that. And again, that was a yellow. And then I got a soaring pin. I think I already have a soaring pin, but I really loved it. It was like a Captain Mickey and Captain Minnie. And I just love soaring anyway. And again, that was a yellow. And then this was the last one of this particular pin, hence why the card is all messed up. But it is Donald and Goofy in front of the partner statue. And this is going to go with my Walt pin board, I think, because it's a Walt pin. And again, it was a yellow. And then finally for the yellows, we went to the Polynesian on the Tuesday, I want to say, and you will see that in the vlogs, but obviously this is coming before the vlogs, but I had to get this Polynesian pin to celebrate 50 years of Walt Disney World. And that was a yellow, which is surprising because I've got another limited edition that was individually priced, but this one was a yellow. And then I think I spotted this on like our last night in the Art of Animation, but it's a spinner pin of Mickey and Minnie holding hands, and when you move them, each of the four park like, emblems becomes visible. So you've got Cinderella Castle, Spaceship Earth, Tree of Life, and for some reason the Sorcerer Hat, which isn't even a thing anymore, so I don't know how old this pin even is but it was a pink and I just really, really love it. And then the final pin I got, we were there for Epcot Flower and Garden. I've only ever been for Food and Wine before, so I wanted to get a pin to commemorate being there for Flower and Garden, and I got this Figment pin. It does spin, but I'm just gonna keep it on the Epcot Flower and Garden side, and I'll probably keep it on its backer as well. And this was the only one that was individually priced. So those were all the pins I got. And then I got three key rings. So I got the Olaf Wishable key ring. I do already have the Minnie Mouse one in my car. And I've just done an updated car tour. So if you haven't seen that, I will leave the card above. I wanted all of the Wishables key rings, but Olaf was my favorite, so I got Olaf. And then I kind of deviated. They had these key rings that were for initials and you've got a different character depending on your initial. I really wish I was like a Rachel because R was Rapunzel, but L was Lady. So I didn't get L, I got E because E was Elsa and I just absolutely love it. I don't know where to put it, but I just love it anyway. And then the final key ring I got from Animal Kingdom, I think says stay positive and it's Dodger from Oliver and Company which as you guys know that's my favourite film so I had to get it and I haven't been very positive since my dog passed away so I thought I needed this as a reminder and then I got a button for donating to the Disney Conservation Club so it is an elephant and it says I'm a hero like I said we stayed in Disney's Art of Animation so I got one of the pens I got the pink paintbrush pen they had an awful lot of greens but I didn't want green so when I saw a pink I snapped it right up I think you just twist it and it comes out of the paintbrush end and I just love it. I probably won't write with it because it's just so pretty, but I love it. And then I got some peppermints in a Walt Disney World 50th little tin because I can keep the tin afterwards. And what I really love is that the peppermints are actually shaped like the characters. I haven't opened them yet, but when I do, I'm gonna have so much fun eating them. You guys know I don't like ears because they really hurt my head, but I did make one exception and it was these Winnie the Pooh ears. So they are yellow obviously and they're just little tiny Winnie the Pooh ears with a bumblebee on the one ear. And then down the side it says today is my favourite day. I just absolutely adore them. I'm actually going to start wearing ears more now that I've got these. They're just adorable. And then I have wanted this for the longest time as well. I wish it would have just come to Shop Disney UK for me to get, but I finally got the silly Disney Park Pal. So he's just a little figurine with a stand, and I will show you a better look of him when I do my next silly collection video, because obviously I haven't unboxed him yet. And then I got a mug that I have wanted since like my last Disneyland trip. If you didn't see the vlogs from that trip, I'll leave a card up above. I don't know why I didn't get it in the end, but I did regret it. So as soon as I saw it, I got it. 
it says vision and it's kind of fun to do the impossible Walt Disney and then you've got like a picture of Walt walking along the ground and then they've superimposed Cinderella Castle over the land because Walt's never actually got to see Walt Disney World it was originally being called Disney World and then it was renamed Walt Disney World in his honour once he passed by his brother Roy which is why I really hate it when people call it just Disney World because it's literally been named in somebody's honour so I would really like people to get that right but I'm really really happy that I got this mug I am not going to drink out of it it's going to go in my Walt collection because obviously and I don't know whether you can see, but there's little tiny Mickey silhouettes in the white, and it's just gorgeous. So now we're going to go on to clothing, and then I think I've just got plush left. So I'm wearing my 50th anniversary Walt Disney World Spirit jersey, because I already had this. I bought it from Shop Disney UK when it became available, and it was one less thing I needed to buy on the trip. I didn't actually take it with me because the weather forecast basically told me that I wouldn't need it and I definitely didn't. I only wore a spirit jersey on the day we were going on the cruise because like it was going to be a little bit colder by the sea but I did buy a couple of spirit jerseys. But first I'm going to start with a hat. I really love bucket hats but they've never actually suited me and the cap I took with me, my Disneyland cap, wouldn't fit because of how much my hair had frizzed. So I bought the Vault Collection map hat and I just absolutely adore it. Me and Jo looked at placements for a while so that I could get one that said Magic Kingdom on the back. And I'm so, so happy with it. I love this hat and I can't wait to wear it again. Apparently we're meant to get a heat wave in the next week or so. So I'm definitely going to wear this. And then as you'll see from the vlogs, I got very, very swollen feet. They are still swollen now. I got blisters that took until we were on the cruise to go down and only one pair of my shoes fit and they were still giving me blisters. So I got some Crocs. I said I'd never have Crocs, I always made fun of Crocs, but these vault Crocs that go with that hat are absolutely gorgeous. They are a map of the Magic Kingdom. They also were supposed to have a spirit jersey which they didn't have and I had my heart set on that spirit jersey. So when I couldn't get the spirit jersey, to get the crocs and the hat was a nice like consolation prize and they really really helped me. They were so comfortable, I didn't expect them to be so comfortable and they really helped like protect my feet when they were hurting. So I'm really grateful for these crocs. I was talking to a friend at work about it when like I got the crocs and I was like yeah I've, I've heard that like no one wants crocs and then once you've got crocs you don't go back and that's me right now, I'm not going back. Speaking of work, I've got a new work bag, but to be honest, I'm using a backpack at the minute because I have to transport my laptop and I don't like people knowing there's a laptop in my bag. But I got this gorgeous It's a Small World bag. It says hello, It's a Small World. And it's got some of the little children and characters. And I just love the trim as well because it's like all the Mary Blair artwork and you know I love Small World so I had to have this bag. It's really big so it might actually fit my laptop, I'm not sure, but I'm scared of like ripping it if the bag gets too heavy. So I'm not sure whether I will actually use it for work, but I just adore it. And speaking of It's a Small World, on Tuesday I'm going to be showing you the Mickey Mouse main attraction for April that was It's a Small World, so I hope you all join me on Tuesday for that. Then I got a raincoat. I will be honest, I had my heart set on the It's a Small World raincoat and I was going to get that, but I had my size and then I saw this one and I wanted it more. This is the Disney Cats and Dogs raincoat, which I love because it's like training cats and dogs. It's got Oliver on, it's got Dodger on, it's got the Aristocats on. I just absolutely adore it. I got really, really good placement because I had a look at it before I bought it. I made sure there was no rips because there was one on display that was ripped. And it sounds weird to wish for rain, but I can't wait to wear this because I haven't worn it yet. And then I got two spirit jerseys. You may think one is a bit weird, but we're gonna go with it. I really, really wanted this one, like since before we got there really. So this is the Canada Pavilion Spirit Jersey. It is grey and it says Oh Canada on the back with a little Canadian flag. And I love that down the arms it's got the provinces 
I was like reading them all off the day I was wearing it on the cruise because it did get quite chilly on the cruise and I just absolutely love it and I'm so happy to have it. I've never been to Canada but I have always wanted to go to Canada and I just loved the Canada Pavilion so I had to get that. And then even though I didn't get a pin, I did manage to get the Art of Animation Spirit Jersey which I absolutely love. So it says Disney's Art of Animation Resort on the back. It's like navy blue but goes into light blue and then white and then you've got crush as the emblem on the front and I am so so happy with it. So you will see in the travel day that I already had a Walt Disney magic band that I'd got picked up for me in like January of 2020. I think I put it in a hole somewhere so if I did I will leave a card up above. But for some reason that cracked. I think I might have dropped it but forgot. So when I saw that they did a Sully one, I absolutely had to get that. So it's got Sully on one side and then it says your pal Sully in like his autograph on the other side. And I'm pretty sure I dropped this one but it didn't crack and I just absolutely love it. There was a Walt one that I wanted that I didn't manage to find but I do already have a Walt one. Although it is cracked, I'm just going to display it. It was still working, I didn't replace it because it had broken. I just replaced it because I saw the Sully one basically. And then the last like clothing item before I go on to the plush, I actually ordered this from Shop Disney UK while we were on the cruise, along with two plushes and I will point out those two when I get to it. I had been looking everywhere for the 50th anniversary Loungefly backpack that has the gold trim. I searched every single store. Joe had a picture of it on his phone so he knew what he was looking for if we were at different ends of the store. I really hoped they would restock while I was there, but it turns out that they've restocked two weeks after I was there, which is just typical, but always seems to happen. The stock was quite bad. I would have bought way more plush if they had more plush, but they simply didn't. But when Shop Disney UK got this bag, I was like, you know what? I really love this style because it fits books in and things like that. It's really good for work. So I got this bag instead and I'm really really happy with it but I won't lie if I could get my hands on another one I'd probably get that as well. So this is the Lounge Fly fabric backpack for the 50th anniversary so it's got the little Lounge Fly plaque and then it's like a square bag with handles at the top which I find is great for like going through airport security like you take the bag off and you've got like these two handles to grasp onto and then it's got like embroidered emblems for all of the parks it's like the Mulan backpack that I got for my birthday in 2020 and I just love the style and I'm so happy with it. And the good thing about this style is you don't have to worry about placement because it's been embroidered on. And now we can get on to plush which I'm hoping is what you're all here for. Right I'm gonna start from the smallest. Me and Joe were desperately trying to feel for the Sam Eagle Muppet Wishable. If you didn't see my unboxing of the Muppet Wishables I will leave a card up above. We didn't manage to get Sam Eagle but he did manage to feel for Miss Piggy for me so my Kermit finally has a Miss Piggy and I'm really Really, really happy about that. I know I said at the time I didn't want her but that was just because I didn't want to buy a load of mystery bags again but I'm glad I got Miss Piggy at least. And then this was bought in Epcot. I bought one and then Joe bought one so we had matching Remy's but this is the Remy magnetic shoulder plush. I think mine's a bit defective because he wasn't staying on my shoulder but I'd already like took tags off and everything so I didn't go and return him. But I just absolutely love him, he's so adorable. And then these two were won for me by my mum. So in Dino Land in Animal Kingdom there are like fairground games and you can buy tokens to play games to win them. So I jokingly said like oh these cost $36 but she won me a mini who's wearing a t-shirt that says the Dino Institute and she won me the Mickey as well and I absolutely love them. When we went last time there were just like generic dinosaurs and yes you could still win generic dinosaurs but I just wanted Mickey and Minnie so I'm really really happy with them. And then the next three things are from the Polynesian. I couldn't resist. My friend on Instagram Megan Loves Magic told me that they did Olu Mel things in the Polynesian so we had to go. The first thing I bought was a little Olu Mel keyring. It's actually an Alani one. So I actually have some Alani merchandise even though I've never been and I just absolutely love him. 
I have some keychains from when we went to Tokyo. So I've got Duffy, Shelly Mae, Gelatoni and Stella Lou. I don't have a Cookie Anne, but now I have an Olu Mel to go with them and I'm really, really happy about that. And then I also got an Alani Duffy because I just couldn't resist. So he's on like a pool floater and I just absolutely adore him. I think this is the one that Megan got and when I said it was so cute, that's when she told me that someone got it from the poly for her. So I'm really glad that we went in and got it. And then finally, I do already have an Olu, but I bought a new Olu because he's an Alani one and I was just obsessed. There were about four different outfits, so me and Joe were stood there for ages trying to decide which one was the best one, and I like this one the best. So he's in like a Hawaiian shirt and shorts, and he's got his shell on the back, and I just love him. I think he's smaller than the Olu I have, but I don't care. I adore him. And then these two I've wanted for the longest time as well. They were both from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. The first one is the Yoda Toy Maker plush. He was really hard to get for a while, I think, which is why I don't have him. I don't think they had him when I went to Disneyland, but he's absolutely adorable. And then, of course, when I saw the Grogu, I had to get the Grogu as well. So his ears been a bit bent in like, transit because they were all vacuum packed to bring them back. But I just think they're both absolutely adorable. I love that they're like a handmade style, even though they're not going to be handmade. But they're just adorable. And then these two were from Animal Kingdom, which was actually our last day and I owe my mum the money back for these because I'd spent all my money. But I got Safari Mickey, I've always wanted these. I had them when I went in 2015, but again I'd run out of money. But I'd been saying the whole entire time that I really wanted them, so when I saw them my mum was like, I'm gonna get them, you can pay me back because you're not missing out on these again. So he's in a little Safari getter. And then of course I got the matching mini, so she's just got like a bow on her hat and they're wearing identical outfits, so I just absolutely adore them. And then this one was an absolute grail and I didn't think they had it because we came out of Frozen Ever After and I was checking the shop and I couldn't see it and then it just turned out that some girls were stood in the way of the display. But I finally got Norway mini to go with my Norway Mickey. The only one I didn't manage to get was the Mexico Donald, but it means that I am happy to film a video on my Around the World plushes now, which has been requested a few times, so that will be coming soon. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell and all of that stuff. So it says Epcot Norway on her foot, and she's wearing a traditional dress, and I love her bow as well. She's just absolutely gorgeous, and I'm so happy to finally have her. This one was in Disney Springs, and I was so shocked that they had it because it's a Shanghai plush that I had to get it. It is a Shanghai Mickey plush and I know it's a Shanghai Mickey plush because of the foot. So this was actually released for Lunar New Year this year. The UK didn't get it or else I would already have it. There was a mini that I really wanted as well but Disney Springs had actually sold out so I was amazed that for something that was released in like January, February they still had it in April so I snapped it up and I'm so so happy. I really love this material that they've used and I love the artwork that they've used and he's just gorgeous. And then I looked for this plush everywhere because it's like my grail, especially since Eddie passed. And they didn't have it, so the next plush I'm going to show you is what I bought to sleep with instead. But then a couple of days before we left, there were two left in the Art of Animation. They've restocked randomly, so I snapped it up and it was the 101 Dalmatian plush. So this is Lucky from 101 Galatians and I've always wanted this one but obviously Pegasus that I got for my birthday was like my ultimate grail and then this one was my second so I'm really glad that I managed to get it but unfortunately I didn't get it on the first day because I always buy a plush on the first night to sleep with and they didn't have this one so I bought this Winnie the Pooh instead so he is sleeping he's one of the dreams plushes I've done videos on the dreams plushes before I will leave one in the description of this video for you to watch but I absolutely love the dreams plushes he was so great to sleep with because he's like the perfect size 
and then when we went on the cruise our state room hostess kept moving him around which was really funny so look out for that when you watch those vlogs and then I did say that I had to order two on Shop Disney UK along with that bag they did not have these anywhere they didn't have the Mickey and Minnie that I got for Christmas they didn't have the Chip and Dale they didn't have the Daisy which apparently Shop Disney UK got on the same day and I missed it because of the time difference I ordered at like 1 o'clock in the afternoon or something UK time but I've managed to get Donald who's doing a weird Saturday Night Fever that I can't seem to get him to stop doing in the 50th anniversary outfit so he matches my Mickey and Minnie like I said they did have a Daisy but I missed her she sold out the quickest and I got Goofy as well which I'm so happy about because Goofy's my favourite I absolutely love him I was searching for his 90th anniversary plush as well which they just didn't have so I'm hoping Shop Disney UK get it at some point it means I just need Daisy and Pluto now I wasn't overly bothered about Pluto but now it looks like I'm about to get them all I might need to get Pluto but that was my Walt Disney World haul I don't think I've forgotten anything but I am so happy with everything that I got like I said the stock was a bit hit and miss they didn't get the wishables like they should have on time so my Main Street Electrical Parade wishables were actually got from Shop Disney again and they came out in the parks while I was on the cruise and then the Star Wars wishables came out while I was on the cruise and I didn't get back to the parks to get them and they didn't have them in the airport they only had the Muppets and the 50th but I love everything that I've got, I only have a couple of regrets of things I should have gotten and didn't and I've got some grail plushes that I'm absolutely over the moon to own so that was my Walt Disney World haul, I really hope you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up if you did and comment down below what your favourite item that I got was the vlogs will be starting next Friday at 6pm UK time so I hope you will join me then and like I said earlier next Tuesday's video is my Mickey Mouse the main attraction haul and yes it is a haul because I got two items this month. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Tuesday for another video. Bye friends!